Hi, I'm Anna Denton Jones from Refreshing Law Limited, and this video is a little bit of a teaser for what's happening next month. Um, those of you who receive my mailers will get them around once a month, every six weeks, something like that. Um, what we like to do in November is focus in a topic in more depth and break that down to each week in November and uh, we call that Knowledge November. We had a year off last year because of the pandemic, um, but we're back on it this year. I got organised early enough, just in case. And this year we're focusing on constructive dismissal. Sub subject I get lots of questions about, um, particularly from line managers who might be worrying about whether or not an employee might try and claim constructive dismissal. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to focus on the topic is I was preparing a case for tribunal hearing, um, defending an employer from such a claim, and the barrister picked up the phone to talk to me about the case and the first, wor first words out of his mouth were, of course, nobody ever wins a constructive dismissal complaint. And it got me thinking, you know, is that true? Well, we all know it's not because you do get cases of constructive dismissal that people do win. Um, so it made me think about breaking down for you what constructive dismissal means, what somebody needs to do to be successful, what the ingredients are, um, and some of the issues that might arise um, when talking about it. So that's what we're going to focus on um, in November. So if you aren't somebody who is signed up to the newsletter, um, please do email admin at refreshinglawltd.co.uk UK and you can be subscribed then and we'll make sure that you get copies of the uh, information in Knowledge November 2021. I look forward to dealing with anybody's questions as well. If anyone's got any burning questions around constructive dismissal, please do let me know a denton at refreshinglawltd.co.uk and I'll look forward to answering them.